Silver Star Mountain, known for easy accessibility, good rock climbing, and usually decent weather, is considered the 24th highest mountain in Washington. At 8,876 feet, Silver Star is among the tallest peaks in the Washington Pass area. Silver Star typically receives milder weather patterns than western high mountain summits, and when poor weather was the forecast for our weekend trip, we headed east to Silver Star in hopes of a break in the clouds. We began at the car pull-off directly across the valley from the mountain. The goal for the first day was to reach Burgundy Coal, a small bivy site located between two towering granite spires. Descending down the road, we crossed Early Winters Creek on one of the many fallen logs that cross it. Adjacent to the creek, the vegetation can be thick, but before long we located a climber's trail that follows climbers left to Burgundy Creek. The shrubbery became more sparse as we ascended, and in short time we reached a flat campsite at 6,400 feet. Some parties choose to camp here, but with time to spare we continued to the coal. Past the campsite terrain becomes progressively steeper, and loose rock fragments can make for unfavorable scrambling. To avoid this we kept to climbers left, up a ridge line until we were just below the southernmost horn in Vasiliki Ridge, at which point we traversed to climbers right to reach Burgundy Coal. The coal, situated between Vasiliki Ridge and the Wine Spires, can be a windy site to camp, but with good overnight setup, the view makes it a worthwhile place to spend the night. An early start one day climb can be made of Silver Star, but a stormy weather system inbound for the afternoon made us opt to wait until morning in hopes of better conditions. The next morning the clouds became intermittent, and we descended down onto Silver Star Glacier. Staying close to the base of the spires and making a rising traverse made for a straightforward and direct route to the saddle between the north and south summit. The glacier was in great shape, not showing any indications of cracks opening up, and we did not feel the need to rope up. From just below the saddle, the easiest way of ascending to the summit block begins. Most of this face is class 3, and there are several good ways of climbing it. We ascended a class 3 ramp from approximately 100 feet below the saddle, aiming directly for the summit. Near the top, exposure becomes significant. We continued the direct path to the summit, encountering one class 4 move that we placed protection for. Once on the summit, we discovered this move can be avoided by traversing 30 feet climbers right just below the summit to class 3 climbing. The summit itself is a sharp boulder, exposed on two sides to drops of several thousand feet. While a whiteout precluded our ability to see the surrounding wilderness, this summit is usually an excellent opportunity to see North Gardner Mountain and Gardner Mountain up close, as well as Liberty Bell and the early winter spires. Whether you're a rock climber or just looking to check off another one from the Bulger list, Silver Star offers easy accessibility, good rock climbing, and drier weather conditions than most other comparable Cascade Mountains. If you liked this video or found it useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.